In 2020, the aviation sector found itself in the firing line of a potentially devastating financial crisis. Unprecedented travel restrictions for almost six months forced aviation operations to a halt as both the tourism sector and business travel felt the full impact of a global lockdown due to the coronavirus pandemic. While the disruptions to aviation are continuing slightly in some countries like Britain currently under another lockdown, the International Air Transport Association estimated airline losses to be about $118.5 billion, deeper than the $84.3 billion forecast in June. The traffic should be at the end of 2021, half of what it was in 2019. So it's better that what it is in 2020 it should be in 2020 uh, around one third of what it was in 2019, but it is still a, 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 a very, you know, dark picture. Here in Nigeria, the nation closed its international borders from the 23rd of March, permitting only evacuation flights to land in the country. In the midst of the crisis, domestic carrier airpiece charted new waters as it evacuated different nationals to China, Israel and India. Local terminals were closed a week earlier and resumed early July with passengers welcoming the new normal of face masks, hand sanitizing and social distance markings in line with COVID-19 protocols in order to curb the spread of the virus. Prior to the crisis, aviation contributed over 198 billion naira in 2019 to Nigeria's GDP and supported over 200,000 jobs. IATA estimates that the COVID-19 crisis put 125,000 jobs at risk. If I were still running aircraft, I would seriously reduce operations to the barest minimum and any flight that does not deliver a load factor that will break even will be cancelled. Owing to the financial crisis that hit airlines, the global airline body announced in December the government have helped airlines survive the crisis with about $173 billion in various forms of financial support. Here in Nigeria, the federal government approved and released a 4 billion naira palliative to airlines and another 1 billion naira to ancillary sectors to cushion the effect of the coronavirus pandemic. But operators say they want more than just funds. We've been enjoying this zero duty on importation of aircraft and zero VAT on importation of aircraft and aircraft space for the past six years. All of a sudden, custom turn around I introduced a regime unknown to us. On a sad note, a helicopter accident in the Okwebi area of Lagos in August 2020 left three people dead. The losses are also huge on the global front with notable airline collapse. Among them, a Britain's flyby which collapsed on March 5 after a plunge in travel demand, making the long struggling regional airline one of the first big corporate casualties. Ivianka Holdings, Latin America's second largest airline, filed for bankruptcy protection in May. Virgin Australia also went under. Job losses were also a big deal as British Airways, Brussels Airlines, Germany's Lufthansa and Emirates, one of the world's biggest long haul airlines, laid off hundreds of pilots and thousands of cabin crew. It's a very worrying time for everybody, but I think the figures speak for themselves. You know, this is the deepest crisis. This is by far the biggest loss. You know, British Airways will lose or has lost more in one quarter than the record loss it made in the year in history. On the whole, airline financial performance is expected to see a significant turn for the better in 2021. Bukola Joe Okitumbi, Channels Television News.